If you need someone to complete you, you are going to get heartbroken. And I'm speaking from experience here. Being heartbroken twice, pretty much embarrassing myself in front of the partner that I had been dating. And just now reflecting on those experiences and realizing that they weren't really based off of desire, at least on my end. They were based off of mostly desperation, where I felt like I needed someone to come into my life and almost save me. And it's not a very masculine thing, and it's not a very uh, admirable thing to kind of have that energy coming off you. When I would go into a relationship, I'd be looking at, okay, does this person align with my values? Do they care about me? And do I have fun in general? Which are all very good things. But then I would also look at that person as that kind of missing puzzle piece uh, for my life. And I think a lot of people can relate to this. Maybe you've been in a situation where, you know, you've dated someone that you felt like completed you. But the problem is when that person goes, now all of a sudden that piece that was there that felt so good because you felt complete. Well, then now that thing's gone. Even worse, if you didn't feel complete, but you feel like that was one of the only things working out in your life and now that's gone. Well, then you've pretty much feel broken and incomplete as a whole. You feel like you have nothing. And that's a very sad and painful place to be. And I'd been there twice. And some of the things that I've learned as I get older and just look back on those experiences, because I felt so incomplete myself, I was always seeking uh, you know, things to make my life feel as if it was actually working. And that's all stemming from me not being able to have figured out how to make my own life work. You know, I'm filming this video at age 24 now, and I've developed a series of just daily tasks, daily checklists, you know, non-negotiables, things that I do that allow me to feel powerful, to feel focused, and also to feel relieved, right? And working out is super important to me. Drinking lots of water and eating healthy. Doing daily journaling and doing these small little assessments that allowed me to kind of grade my life. And when I have someone that I'm hanging out with, whether it is a dating scenario or if it's just hanging out with friends, people I care about and enjoy their presence, I do those things after I've done the non-negotiables that I know that I have to do myself in order to feel complete and feel the version of myself that I need to be to show up into any sort of relationship, whether it's a friendship wise or family wise or some uh, sexual dynamic, right? That type of relationship in order for me to have my interaction with that person be stemming from desire and not desperation. And I don't know if that's helpful for you, but hopefully that can allow you to kind of think about great. When I go into these scenarios where I'm interacting with someone and I'm taking the time and energy to further develop my connection with this person. Again, this can be friendship wise or it can be dating wise. Ask yourself if you've done whatever it is that you personally need to be doing on a daily basis to be able to show up powerful and present and independent in that situation. So that way the interaction you have with them, at least on your end, is not only positive, but also stemming from desire and is able to allow you to feel complete. Because like I said earlier, there's nothing worse than going into a scenario or hanging out with someone and feeling like you need that person. Those are just my two cents.